In the 3.10 Path of Exile expansion, Delirium, a new build defining mechanic has been released, Cluster Jewels. In this short video, I will explain how to effectively plan your starter builds around this mechanic so you're prepared for what is being considered as the largest shakeup in build creation since Ascendancies. Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and I am back to talk about Cluster Jewels. The mechanics of this new jewel are simple in concept, but it can leave many people feeling overwhelmed and confused about how to approach them. In a nutshell, Cluster Jewels are magic, rare, and unique jewels that can be socketed into any of the six outer jewel sockets on the passive skill tree, allowing for a branching out beyond the 1300 odd passive skill points in the current skill tree. There are 280 new notables to find and discover, and as the recording of this video there's only been a few teased, it does leave us wondering about what the rest of these will be and what they mean for build creation as a whole. We can assume that on average, if 280 notables are being added to the passive skill tree, then at least three travel nodes per notable is a safe assumption, meaning an estimated 740 new passive skill points will be available to choose from. As stated before, this information can seem extremely overwhelming, but here are a few tips to plan your builds now so you can have an edge at the start of Delirium League. The main tip for these cluster jewels is to plan your builds with a lot less points than you usually do. For example, when planning my own builds in Path of Building, I aim for around 110 points on the tree, which roughly estimates to level 88 to 90. Considering how powerful and build defining some new notables gained from cluster jewels may be, your safest bet is to reserve as many points as you can while your build still functions. If you can plan a build in 75 to 95 passive skill points, reaching out to all the necessary notables on the current tree, you will be more than equipped to branch out and explore effectively with the new cluster jewels. Here is an example of one of my league starter builds, which a video will be out soon on a dual wield Frostblades Raider. This build uses 94 passive skill points, meaning that I still have 19 passive skill points unallocated at level 90 for branching out with cluster jewels, as well as two outermost sockets allocated. With respectable damage and decent life for level 70, this is a perfect start to having a balanced build in only 94 points. If you're interested, there is a paste bin down below with this path of building file. At this point, it isn't wise to plan directly around any notables you may have already seen or are theorizing might exist from cluster jewels, as we have no way of knowing how easy or difficult they will be to obtain. So this method of planning builds is both the safest and most effective way of ensuring your build will be able to handle the early end game at the start of Delirium. If all else fails and cluster jewels don't work for your build, you can just allocate the remaining passive skill points into other areas. Another tip for the jewels themselves is to hold on to them if you find any early into the Delirium League. As they can be magic and rare, they can be rolled with currency just like you can roll any other jewel. At least for the first day or two, collect as many as you can and test and try them out. I would even suggest planning having one outermost jewel socket on your build within 40 points of starting so you can be testing during the leveling process. We have literally no way of knowing how rare or common these jewels will be, so your safest bet is to hold onto them while waiting for the meta to evolve, and selling accordingly. Lastly, with any new league and Path of Exile in general, the greatest tip I can give you is to be receptive. Check out PoE Ninja every day for common builds, prices of certain uniques, and the general economy itself. The more that you are paying attention, the easier it will be to get an extremely strong league start by selling rares and uniques of high interest, as well as potentially stocking up on items or divination cards that seem to be spiking in price. I'll be streaming from 12am Australian Eastern Standard Time pretty much every night up until the Delirium League release. If you'd like to drop by and ask any questions whatsoever, feel free to do so, I'm more than happy to answer them. And remember, in Path of Exile, your two gracious tools are knowledge and curiosity. That's it from me. Until next time, Badger, out.